I had the good fortune of being invited to speak to a group a number of months ago called Silver Sisters International. All silver haired women from around the world, spectacular from their 20s to their 90s. I mean, no, no age limits and no holds barred. The conversations were super. Maria stood out from among them, of course. And I believe that her story will inspire all of us. It has inspired me. And by the way, she showed up in my Hallmark movie the other night. <laughs> so I'm doubly impressed. <laughs> Maria, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. I'm humbled and honored to be here. <laughs> well, we're thrilled. I mean, you, I'm going to just ask you to share some of your story. I mean, you got married at 18. And now at 50, almost 51, you're mm -hmm. starting a whole new life and a whole new career. So catch us up. That is correct. It's something that never in my wildest dream, especially a daughter of immigrants, uh, raised in East LA, Los Angeles, like you said, married at 18, was a mom for a long time, a church secretary for 14 years and worked for the school district. Never did I ever think I would be here. And you know, it, it really came down to the hair. You know, for it's just crazy because for many, many years, and I'm sure a lot of women are afraid to go gray because they feel that there's. <laughs> there's I, I am, you guys, Maria, my hair looks like yours naturally. You I should am, I am 99% gray right now. Do it. You're going to look bad. Yeah, Lauren, keep, Lauren keeps telling me that too. Yes. Deliberate, well, okay, not to digress, keep going. But I am one of those women. You're talking right to me. <laughs> well, a lot of women, and I know I fell into that, into the the belief, the myth, the old wives' tales, the what society says, if you let yourself go gray, it's letting yourself go. You're going to mm -hmm. look tired. You're going to look haggard. You're going to look old. Um, you're not going to be vibrant anymore. And actually, it's quite the complete opposite. My only regret is not doing this sooner. But again, if, you know, what you don't, hindsight is 2020. What you don't know, you don't know, right? And so um, it's really, it's, it's beyond me still. Even just sitting here and thinking, why do these ladies want to know my story? Is it really that interesting? But okay. It, is. it really comes down to, it really comes down to the hair. And um, I love it. I would, sometimes I have nightmares that someone dyed my hair. That's my nightmare. <laughs> Wow, that is incredible. <laughs> but it's a it's very freeing. I do not have to pack a box of dye with me anymore on vacation. Um, I don't have my I call it my tie dye t shirt because it was my special shirt that I would use to dye my hair, and it was like black all the way around. Um, yeah, I just love it. I I can't say enough about it. So that's me, and I love it. <laughs> Well, and I, I just do want to point out, it's not just the hair, but mm -hmm. I will say that the hair has allowed you a new freedom from what I've learned about you since we met. Mm -hmm. The hair opened up a, a part of you that was hidden. And I know because I have a lot of that myself. It took a long time for me to go gray. I was coloring my hair every two weeks. Yeah. And really the gray started popping through on three days, like right mm -hmm. after I would color it. And I would just doctor it and play with it. And, and all my stylists, and imagine I'm in the image business, so I have stylists everywhere. And they all said the same thing. Mm -hmm. If you look so fabulous brunette, why would you go gray? Mm -hmm. And what I learned was not only is it freeing, but mm -hmm. real genius is to go gray before you're old. <laughs> It's to go when it's in, when it's in fashion, when it's on trend, when, you know, when you're special doing it and you have made a whole career out of that. Yeah. And it was more like you said, it was a decision of, I am just so tired of dyeing my hair. It used to be one month and then it was three weeks. I mean, we're talking years, but the last year before I decided, or the last month before I decided to die, stop dyeing my hair, I was turning, I was going to turn 42. I was one month shy of turning 42. And I thought, who am I kidding? I'm tired of this. Um, I'm going to be 42. Just accept it. You're old. You're old. Just whatever. You know, if people don't like it, who cares? Whatever. So I, I gave myself a personal bet, 12 months. And I thought, well, if after 12 months, I don't like it, I can go back to the bottle, Miss Clarol. Sure. So, and that, it, 
I'll be honest with you, it was not easy. Some women do the sh- they shave their head. Some women do the chops. Some women do like low lights. I just went cold turkey. So for me, in the middle of growing, it took three years, year and a half into it. My hair was that brombre look. I, I can't remember how do you pronounce Aubrey. it. Aubrey. Yeah. And so it was white and half black or kind of brownish because it was wearing off. And people would, ladies would ask me, where did you get your hair done? And I said, I didn't. It's mine. And that's when I realized, you know what? I love this. I yeah. really do. See, that's where I'm thinking, like, how do I do that? Because I've been considering it, obviously. Mm-hmm. I'm like, what do I do? Do I just, do I dye it gray and then it grows out gray? Do I... Like, what would you write? You just did. You just said, I'm just going to quit dying it. And you yeah, know. you know, there's this one gal, I can't think of her name right now, but th- she did this like uh parting of the hair. She would like just dye like, a, let's, I'm just going to grab a, a section. She would gra- dye this all the time mm-hmm. and then just cover the gray as it was growing out. Hmm. And then as soon as it grew out enough, she would stop dyeing this. And I, I forget how, she, I, I'll send you the link, but she, I don't know how she did it, but it was wonderful. And um, cause she didn't want to just chop it off either. For me, I don't like short hair on me. So I just let it, I just kept trimming it one inch at a time. Mm. But I mean, it just, it, I think it's a matter of the heart. Mm-hmm. If you're not feeling it, then don't do it. But there is a great support group out there. There's lots of, when I was doing it, I think there was only one group out there and I think it was called gray is the new black or something like that. And they're no longer there on Facebook, but now there's all kinds of groups. There's women in Denmark, UK, Italia or Italy, uh, Spain here, uh, silver sisters international. There's all kinds of groups, um, crowned in silver. And so all these women, you can, they're all, they come from all walks of life, ages, backgrounds, and you just get inspired. And a lot of them will show you how they did it. And, you know, you just, you feel connected and you feel supported. Of course, it helps if you have a partner that supports you, your family, you know. And in your case, you did. And it looks like your husband kind of went gray in the same ta- in the same time frame that you did. So the two of you look more yes. like brother and sister going through the process. You're so cute together. <laughs> well, he has it here only. That's the interesting part, his mustache and beard. But his hair is still black. Mm-hmm. And for me, my eyebrows are still dark. And I think that's another thing. Your eyebrows are very still dark. So it's going to look wonderful. You're going to have a great co- a contrast. Yeah. Um, and I think that's the doubt that women or people will ask me, is there, is that your hair color? Because it doesn't match. Mm-hmm. So, um, I think it's going to look fabulous if you do it. I'm here to support you. So Maria, not only did she let her hair go, but you went and did a photo shoot. You started modeling. You became an influencer on social media. <laughs> you are out there promoting products and services that support the silver world and I just think what you've decided to do at this stage of your life is bold and unique (laughs) that's wonderful how liberating and amazing that is and your look is so glamorous and yet natural at the same time which is you know you know that's funny because I was just telling Lauren prior we were getting to know each other and she says we're gonna ask questions we're gonna talk about this talk about that And I confided in her that growing up, I never felt beautiful. I didn't, you know, you go through different stages in life. You know, you get, you know, you're a student, you're a child, you're whatever. For a long time, I was a mom. I'm a, oh, I still am a mom. I was a wife. And, you know, you have these certain roles and you're no longer turning heads. Not that you're looking for it, but as women, we always want to feel attractive, right? And um, I mean, not that we're looking for cat calls, nothing like that, but you want to know that you feel confident, like, okay, I still have it. And there was a point where I felt like I just, I didn't have it. I was invisible for a long time. And I thought, okay, this is life. It is what it is, this is the next stage in life. And so from, from that to this, it's, it's, again, it's something that's just far beyond me. I mean, I just turned 50, I'm going to be 51. And people always think I'm 35 and I'm thinking, are you, are you really kidding me? I'm not 35. Are you just telling me that just to flatter me? But it's true. I mean, even gray hair will make you look, I think it makes you look younger. A lot of women that I see with gray hair look younger. Look at Lauren. She looks fabulous. Yeah. 
it's true. It's just, there's an elegance to it and it can be fun. Mm -hmm. it can be super fun. I'm so glad I did. My mother went completely silver and Amy knows my mother, mm -hmm. but my mother started going salt and pepper in her teens. Mm -hmm. And by the time I was born, when I was three or four, she was coloring it. She had to do a double process every three mm -hmm. weeks. Jeez. And I would go with her to the beauty salon and I would sit there for four hours every three weeks. That was our Saturday. And I thought, wow, what are we doing here? I have gotten so much time and mm -hmm. energy, not to mention money back mm -hmm. and wow. by not doing it. It's super. So I encourage everyone to do it. And Amy, I will hold your hand. <laughs> hey, you're going to have to get down from the tree. <laughs> Yes, okay. and you can follow all these silver sisters on these different pages, and just see that yeah, we're we're all going through together. I mean, mine's complete, ours is complete, but there's women out there that are still going through it, and they ask the same questions that you're asking right now. That is so. It's so great. To, it's so great to see on the other side the mm -hmm. results of you beautiful women that love their hair, and so it's giving me a lot of encouragement. So, so Maria, how can our visitors, how can our viewers find you? How can they visit you? Well, I'm still new to all this industry. Okay. So this is, like I said, still new to me. I've only been modeling professionally since last year, July. So this July will be one year with MV model management. Um, <clears throat> I'm still learning about social media. Um, so I, right now at this point, it's my Instagram at La Silver Dama. So in Spanish, that means the silver lady, because uh, I am I am from Mexican descent. And so we play, I grew up playing a game called La Loteria, which is uh, bingo, Mexican bingo. And so one of the characters on the card is La Dama, the lady. <laughs> so I figured, why not? The silver lady. That's my that's my handle. I love it. We can find you there. And I, and I encourage anybody to go look. She she talks about what she's doing. She shows you how she's doing it. I mean, I think Maria, you're one of the most transparent and inspirational people we could possibly follow. So thank you for all you're doing. And thank you for coming to share with us. And I'm gonna put Amy on your Instagram as soon as we get off here. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you ladies for having me. I'm just so honored to be here and it's awesome. Thank you. Pleasure, thank you. Okay. And we'll be right back.